All right, good morning, everybody. This house was built in 1993, uh, a year after Hurricane Andrew, and uh, the codes hadn't been updated for wind rating and wind mitigation for your um, homeowner's insurance policy. So um, I have a gable end roof, of course. It's got the higher peak up here, and then it slopes down over there. The builder put these two foot two by fours and nailed them to two rafters in the attic thinking that that was going to hold the gable end in and one thing that they did do was they doubled up the trusses uh that's holding up the sheeting on the outside of the house which very uncommon but uh as you can see you're looking at the largest flat side of the board uh that the trusses are made on here check this out you see how they're flat like that and they're not turned the more narrow way uh, actually, the flat way is a weaker structure for wind rating. Uh, if they were turned the other way, where you only saw the skinny side of the 2x4, uh, it actually would be a whole lot stronger. But what I'm doing here is I am reinforcing the gable end. So let me uh, show you exactly how this is done. Sorry about my mess here. You're all going to get a better look at this. So pretty much what I did here is I went out and got two by fours and I screwed them down to three rafters and they butt right up against this gable end truss that was built with the house. And then what I did is I cut another two by four right here and I got these uh, truss wraps right here, these metal straps. And this metal strap goes is screwed down to this two by four here and then it is wrapped around the back side of this two by four here, as you can see the metal edge there, it's screwed in there. And then for extra, extra strength, I screwed this two by four to the uh, original truss, which is right there. So this is much uh, it's more, more secure, much stronger. And then I also did that up here. I attached it to the truss, uh, roof trusses up here as well. Uh, three screws there and there. And then the strap is attached to that. Now you're probably thinking, well, the straps look pretty weak. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these 30 inch sections of uh, two by fours that I cut out. And after I've gotten all of these boards, all the new 2x4 screwed down to the uh, rafters of the ceiling. Uh, that is screwed into the truss. And then, of course, I got the ones on the, on the underside screwed in there. So this is pretty much all tied in together, nice and strong. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these 30-inch pieces of 2x4. Uh, Sorry about this. I'm moving this camera all over. There's not much room to move around in here. And I'm going to put that over the strap. I'm going to put more screws through that uh, for extra added measure. And then I'm also going to do the same up there. I'm going to put a 2x4 up there on every one of them. So this is a, a good way to uh, um, also get discounts on your homeowner's insurance policy. If your house is older and it does not have this, I have to tell you, gable end uh, trusses and roofs, are the weakest structures against wind. So if they're not beefed up where the gable end is, um, if we have a tornado, good good amount of wind, um, or uh, a hurricane, well, anything about above a Cat 3, I wouldn't be here uh, in this house. I would definitely leave. But Category 3 and below, this will help keep the gable end from getting pushed in and sucked out by wind. Uh, so definitely be a lot stronger. And then when I'm done with it, I'll make another video.